Today we read a five-star review and a one-star review of Cool House in Culver City. You have to decide which is which. First, Ben will be playing the part of Mindy H. from San Marino. Red as a carnival barker. A giant dollop of creamy fig ice cream squished in between two soft snickerdoodle cookies equals heaven. The ice cream was rich, lush, very smooth, with just the right amount of sticky fig spread. Well, the cookies were chewy, fresh, and delicately sugar cinnamony. I only wanted to eat half. I mean, I'm watching my figure. But bite after bite, I realized it wasn't going to happen. The entire thing will be in my stomach, and I'll be damned if my thighs get fatter or my arms flabbier. This is worth it. Every single calorie, fat calorie, and carb. I am thankful that they have their own standalone shop. Chasing after food trucks just ain't my thing. I like stability, and when I want something, I want it now. I'm not into checking Twitter or some website for the location info of a transient auto on four wheels when a craving invariably hits me hard. So this is where the cool house shop comes in, and for catering to lazy food lovers like me, I salute you. And now I will be playing the part of Linda M. from West L.A., read as Frankenstein's monster. Oh, God. Place so freaking meh. Which is so weird. Cuz love Cool House sandwich that served at Verse Kutch. What ordered? I got Earl Grey ice cream, one ginger snap cookie, one snickerdoodle. I love Cool House sandwich. <laughs> Hubby. My hubby got pistachio truffle ice cream, two chocolate chip cookies. Now, where begin? Ice cream, wimpy, disappointing. Cookies, no better. We're thin and dry. Texture, somewhere between stale and crisp. No idea how place popular as it is. Honestly prefer Diddy Reese generic ice cream sandwich. And really wanted to love this place. Kind of ice cream nut. So here, my recos for ice cream. Al Gelato. Carmela Scoops Sweet Rose Creamery, my favorite of bunch. Trust me, me no ice cream. My Bon Bell Lip Smacker Ice Ice Cream flavored for crying out loud. Thank you so much, Jason, for coming by. Yeah, thanks, and, man. Uh, you know, uh, check him out, Jason underscore Horton on Twitter. And the Two White Guys podcast, obviously, you want to check out, especially if you love porn stars, because there's a ton yeah, yeah. of porn stars on the Two White Guys podcast. Yeah. Not naked. No, no, no. It's not porn stuff. pornography. Just, no, 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 no. They're just We're talking about talking about porn stuff. But there's a, a there'll be people in there. You, got, you like you like your Shay Carl. You like Jenna Marbles. I don't know. You check it out on there. He's got very impressive guests. Yes. Uh, check out his podcast. We thank him a lot for coming by. Thanks, Jason. Yes. Um, thanks for listening to LA Foodie. Find a recap of everything you heard on today's show at LAFoodie.com. Join us on Twitter or send us an old-fashioned email at podcast at LAFoodie.com. And please support us. Um, if you like the content and everything, we work hard and we think it's good. We hope it's good. We hope you like it. Um, if you've gotten this far in the podcast, <laughs> no shit. Please if go you're to store.lafoodie.com. Store.lafoodie.com. Buy a t shirt. Yeah. They're cool. Uh, as always, I'm Drew Hubbard. And I'm Ben Waters. And as Facebook fans, social order media always says about food the redder, the better. It's become our motto and it seems to be true every time. Jambalaya, red velvet cake lasagna. 